and dear students myself dr bishwambar mahanti today we discuss the total energy transmitted from one particle to another particle in the form of simple harmonic wave when the wave travels through medium remains constant does not change with time we have to prove it so that means total energy travels from one particle to another particle in the form of simple harmonic wave remains constant throughout the medium does not change with time we have to prove it so when the you know that when the wave travels in medium we just see each particle of the medium makes to and fro motion about the mean position every particle of the medium makes to and fro motion about the mean position as a result when the particle executes shl it carries two types of energy that is kinetic energy and potential energy and that energy transfer from one particle to another particle and this is the snapshot i have taken and this is this is the wave this is the snapshot i have taken and at this position the particle at this position this particle at this position this particle at this position this particle at this position and i have taken the snapshot this is the wave i have taken us and the when the part the energy transfer from one particle to another particle the particle does not move along with the wave but they are vibrating about the mean position in case of transverse wave the particle vibrate perpendicular direction propagation and in case of longitudinal that travels or vibrates parallel to direction propagation and that energy remains constant throughout the motions does not change with time we have to prove it so first thing when the particle executes shl particle execute shl it carries two types of energy number 1 kinetic energy that is half m square already you know that the velocity of particle execute shl v is equal to a omega cos omega t and a is the amplitude omega is the angular frequency of the so how that is the half a b square that is a square omega square cos square omega t and when the particle executes shl executes shl it can static in that half a omega square omega square a square cos square omega t this is the kinetic energy k and again we have to calculate the potential energy then we have to calculate the potential what is the potential energy of the particle execute shl and this is the vibration of particle i have taken in the transverse wave suppose this is the shl this is the particle execute shl and this so in the particle in case of transverse wave the particle vibrates perpendicular to direction propagation and in case of Uh, longitude of the particle vibrate parallel to direction of propagation. So this is the amplitude of the shl, and this is the minus c. Suppose the particle has a small displacement y from the mean position. Let and you know that whenever the particle executes shl, the resistance force always tries to oppose the change. That is the displacement from mean position from mean position away from the mean position. If the displacement from away from the mean position, the resistance push towards the mean position, and F is equal to you know that F is equal to minus k into y. And suppose the in this is the force is a variable, the work done must be calculated by method of integrations. The force is a variable force. Let d w is equal to small amount of work done. in displacing the particle through small displacement dr dy
So this is the dy, the small displacement dy. So, so dw is equal to f dot dy. This is the dot product of force in displacement. A restoring force and linkage and SS or restoring force displacement are in opposite direction. And f and dy, the angle between the f and dy is 180. So dw is equal to, you can put the value of minus ky, f is equal to minus ky, minus ky into dy cos 180 is minus 1, that is equal to dw is equal to ky. So dw is equal to small amount of water in displacing the particle through small displacement dy, through small displacement dy. Because I have taken the integration, we have to take the integration to calculate the total water. Because as the force is variable, so see the force is variable force. So to calculate the work done, we have to integrate thus dw. So let w is equal to what total of work done, total amount of work done, from displacement 0 to y. So dw is equal to integration of dw that is equal to ky into dy. Integration 0 to y from 0 to w that is equal to w is equal to k into y square by 2. Integration of y dy y square by 2. You know that in case of SHM omega is equal to root over k by m. Omega is the angular frequency. So omega square is equal to k by m. So k is equal to m omega square. So the, the w is equal to m omega square into y square into pi 2. That is half m omega square y square. And this amount of y, this is the work done displacing the particle from 0 to total displacement y. And this amount of work done gets stored in the form of energy and is called as the potential energy. So this potential energy, hence potential energy is equal to R1, that is equal to half m omega square y. So this amount of water gets stored in the form of energy, that is called potential energy of the particle. So that is potential energy half m omega y square. And uh, y the value, y, what is the value of y? y is equal to a sin omega t. And so potential energy is equal to half a omega square a square sin square omega t. This is the expression for the potential energy and this is the expression for the kinetic energy. So total energy of the particle execute SHM that is the algebraic sum of the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy. So total energy kinetic loss potential that is the kinetic energy for half m omega square a square cos square omega t plus half m omega square a square sin square omega t. So that is a half m omega square a square that is cos square omega t plus sin square omega t is equal to 1. So that is equal to half m omega square a square. So this is the total energy. So this is the total energy, m is the mass of the particle, omega is the angular frequency, a is the amplitude of SHL. So total energy of a particle execute SHL does not depend upon the instantaneous time, small t, does not depend upon instantaneous time, small t, hence the, when the wave propagates in the forward direction, it is due to the trans transfer of energy from one particle to another part, transfer of momentum or energy from one particle to another particle, that is remains constant, that is remains constant. So hence, the total energy transfer from one particle to another particle In simple harmonic wave, one particle as a simple harmonic wave, simple harmonic wave travels through a medium with 
remains constant. So this is the total energy transferred from one particle to another particle as a simple harmonic wave remains constant. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.